Welcome back. Todd Barton here. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at the spectral display. We have decay and envelopes here. So I'm going to go to envelopes setting. And we know from previous tutorials, the quickest way to hear a sound, sort of pass through sound, is to take a sound and go into odd or even. I'm going into odd. And we get to then see, this is white noise I'm using, the spectral display in envelopes and the way to hear that is come out of either odd or even uh, outputs of the comb filter and now these envelopes have envelope followers and they can send different shapes of uh, CV out uh, we can hear that by taking that white noise. I'm going into 292, and we can simply use one of these envelope followers to open and close a 292. And of course you're going to get different uh, CV shapes depending on the strengths and weaknesses of the signal itself and the bandwidth. A better example is to actually use some music. I'm going to use a piece, uh, Crocodile by Underworld, and let's uh, take a look at how that works. I'm going to press play and take the signal out so we can hear what this is. Just a beat. Okay, now if I put this in to the 292 and use the CV out envelope, we can open and close that. Sort of instant side chaining. Of course, I'm side chaining the original here. And we get different. shapes and openings and closings. Going down here won't open and close as often. Another thing we can do is take the output and in this case I'm going to uh, 254 and I'm going to boost that signal a bit. I find I need to do that. Take that output and go into 281 and then I have control over the envelope of that. And you can hear the different patterns we get depending on the shape of the envelope frequency follower. Now what if I take a another output Go to the B section, and this time I'm going to take the even comb filtered sound out of this piece. I'm going to start it over here and bring that up on another channel. So now we can adjust the two different, um, well, I won't be adjusting this, but we can adjust the envelope on the 281 there. Okay, let's hit play. And this one won't come in until we hear some vocals, and now we can look at decay envelopes. I can lengthen the decay.
Okay, there you go. You can see all the different possibilities here. We've got 16 envelope followers. If you wanted to go nuts, that could be 16 side chains, yeah? And you can send them, I've just been sending them to either a 292 opening and closing that filter, or sending it to a uh, envelope generator. Uh, of course, you could send all of that to pitch, timbre, you name it, and you could take one of these outputs and going to a 254, 255, a 256, or a 257, and have multiple varied envelopes going to different places. Another fun thing we can do is uh, take one of these envelopes out and go to, I'm going to take that CV out and go to CVN of a 257E and put it in uh, pulse mode by holding that down. And now we can get a lot of different pulses here, either a lot of them or I can attenuate it and uh, send that to a 281 envelope generator there and take um oh let's see let's just take the audio out of a 259 go into C here and now let's start this again and there we go Okay, and you'll notice that that one envelope that we put a long decay on is right there. If I take that out, I can go to pitch. Or, of course, use any of these others. I can also take CV out here and go to modulation Okay, sort of wild and wacky, but I just wanted to show you some of the other things you can do and the other ways of routing these envelopes out on the spectral display.